Amsterdam, it's few out of every odd day when a test drive incorporates getting blooms from a nursery, or moving travelers from a worldwide air terminal. On the other hand, it's few out of every odd day that Mercedes-Benz presents a fresh out-of-the-box new form of this printer, the German automaker's workhorse utility van. The 2019 Mercedes-Benz printer speaks to an aggregate reboot, both all around, with specific consideration paid to including security highlights and tech overhauls not ordinarily connected with the universe of square-edged, work-obligation vans. And keeping in mind that it's exceptionally improbable that a Sprinter client thinks much about outline, one special reward is that the most recent model happens to be moderately gorgeous, as well. Indeed, at any rate in the realm of vans it is. A smaller grille, slimmer headlights and accessible LED outside lighting add a touch of class to the Sprinter. Try not to misunderstand us, this is no AMG GT regarding come here outside plan. Be that as it may, trust it or not. Amid our test drive in the Netherlands, which took us amongst Amsterdam and Rotterdam, the Sprinter got in excess of a couple of thumbs up and thumbs up. In truth, they were all from fellows pulling plumbing supplies or cultivating gear, yet that is the objective market here, people. This likewise clarifies why the hell Mercedes pulled us, Joe proposed, over the Atlantic to drive an unassuming van. The Sprinter is especially a worldwide machine, with an excess of 3 million sold worldwide since it initially went at a bargain in 1995. This is formally the third age Sprinter, and it introduces an extensive variety of innovation and well-being advancements, alongside a lodge that is more adjustable and an infotainment framework significantly more lined up with some of Mercedes' actual extravagance vehicles. In go-topping models, which were in sufficient supply amid our drive. The dashboard is commanded by either a 7.0 or 10.3-inch touchscreen. This widescreen sits upright from the dash and is inside simple reach for either the driver or a front traveler. This infotainment framework handles everything from radio and root capacities to an assortment of voice charges that work with the Mercedes-Benz user experience, Bucks, for short. Unexpectedly, this framework demonstrated hesitant to participate with non-local English speakers, as demonstrated amid a showing by Mercedes-Benz designs before we were let free onto Dutch streets. Any reasonable person would agree some calibrating of the framework is required in front of this printer's discounted date in the not-so-distant future. That turned out to be particularly evident each time Bucks would toll in with a how might I help you? Voice message, issued each time Mercedes was talked in the lodge. Have you at any point driven an auto and needed to whisper its maker's name while in the driver's seat? It's sort of dreadful. Whatever remains of the inside innovation is far less frightening, fortunately. There are different USB outlets, accessible locally available Wi-Fi, 12V and 115V outlets and similarity with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Furthermore, don't stress, in spite of all the additional tech and helpful module focuses, there are still a lot of cup holders for XL sized jazz drinks. For Armada purchasers, the accessible Mercedes Pro Connect framework permits the watchful following of every Sprinter, which incorporates everything from checking liquid levels and tire weights to geo area and knowing whether a window may have been left open. We put the application based framework under a magnifying glass, by opening and shutting the windows, or leaving the van open to perceive to what extent each change took to enlist. The appropriate response, it's dreadfully snappy, and truly cool. Without a doubt, the same can't be said with regards to straight line quickening. We tried two models, the two diesels and in raise wheel drive design. The first was a 314 CDI display, a freight van completed in Jupiter red paint and controlled by 161 drive. 2.1 liter turbo diesel 4 barrel coupled to a 9 speed programmed transmission. Later in the day, we attempted a 319 CDI furnished for traveler obligation, finish with 3 lines of seating behind the front inhabitants. This high sided individual's hauler is propelled by a bigger, all the more intense 188 horsepower, 3.0 liter turbo diesel V6, mated to a 7 speed gearbox. The vans effectively stay aware of movement and were very much carried on amid expanded drives, with just a blackout measure of diesel commotion out of sight. Of course, brisk combining and passing moves require overwhelming utilization of the gas pedal. It's smarter to unwind and loosen up while settling that life in the center or right-hand path of any multi-lane parkway is the best place to be. Possibly this zen-like sprinter motivation clarifies why Mercedes made the front seats so agreeable. 
Sprinter vans in the United States will be offered with these two diesel motors, alongside a fuel-controlled 188 horsepower, 2.0-liter turbocharged four-chamber. We'll have a decision of back and all-wheel drive, however the front-wheel drive display accessible in different markets will be absent stateside. The same is valid for a manual gearbox, as Sprinter vans will be programmed just here in the United States. While we typically mourn the passing of a move-for-yourself alternative, it's no genuine forfeit when discussing a huge-scale van. Helping effectively express that idea were the courageous columnists who demanded attempting the Manuel gearbox, at that point instantly stalled out in a similar Rotterdam surge hour activity bad dream as the programmed driving unforeseen. Think about who was substantially more joyful and more invigorated toward the finish of that specific drive? Credit likewise goes to the Sprinter's general measurements. Regardless of offering an indistinguishable inside space from a run-of-the-mill Manhattan studio loft, the Sprinter isn't especially wide. That made exploring thin European streets a basic assignment, even in occupied city driving. The speed-delicate electric power directing gives you a chance to put the Sprinter precisely where you need it and, might we venture to state it, even gives a trace of real criticism. The Sprinter is unfathomably simple to jump into and simply drive. It's currently additionally simpler to stop, on account of an accessible back view camera and 360 degree encompassed seat. Other valuable security things incorporate crosswind help, to enable the sprinter to keep up a relentless course while being struck by twist, alongside path keeping help, a driver obliviousness screen, blind side cautioning and even versatile journey control. Goodness, indeed, worn front seats and remote telephone charging influence the alternatives to list, as well. While those two things may not precisely spare any lives, the fellows pulling plumbing supplies or cultivating rigging will value them. Correct estimating and trim determination will be uncovered nearer to the Sprinter's discounted date in the not-so-distant future. An electric-controlled variant, called the E-Sprinter, is additionally set to join the U.S. lineup sooner or later, doubtlessly toward the last 50% of 2019.